Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we have some sad news for you today. Mr. David Prowse has passed away. Yeah. Uh, we're losing a lot of uh, greats this year in 2020. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he passed away at age 85. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some of the reactions from his peers. And then we're going to talk about uh, some really not very nice things being said on Twitter. We're going to talk about shitty people. Shitty people using the uh, the death of David Prowse to, to make it political, because of course they do. Of course they do. Before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Uh, thank you for the support this year. Hate to be the bearer of bad news. Mm -hmm. um, but it seems like we've done a lot of these videos. Right, this year. yeah. Well, not just this year, just the last couple years. And that's why I said on Twitter, it's like, it's really hard because when, one of the things that happens when you get older is all the people that you looked up to when you're younger eventually are going to to be gone yeah and then you have and then it's, it's just really sad it's like it just you know you might not know them but you know what they meant to you and it's really hard yeah it is um so david prowse of course is the man behind the mask he's the guy in the suit the vader suit in the original trilogy and of course you know james earl jones who's about the same age uh, did the voice of Darth mm -hmm. Vader, but the voice that everybody on set heard was actually David Prowse's. Right. Yeah, it's kind of jarring if you go out and watch YouTube videos. I did. You know, because you're so used to that James Earl Jones voice and mm. you've got uh, David Prowse's voice. But uh, I know he was pretty upset when they unmasked Vader and it wasn't him. Uh, you know, that would have... That, that yeah, I never understood that, actually. That, yeah, because he was about the right age, I mean... Yeah, I just never understood that. I didn't understand mm -hmm. why they had to do that. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, so here we go. This is coming from CNN. British actor David Prowse, who played Vader in the original Star Wars trilogy, has died at age 85. His management company announced on Sunday. Uh, Prowse died after a short illness, according to his agent... Uh, CNN reported in 2018 that Prowse was being treated for I hope prostate he didn't cancer. Get COVID because they're saying short illness and he had cancer. I don't know. I, I, mean, I think they would have said something. Maybe. Maybe. I uh, just hope it wasn't. Now, he was at, I believe he was at, at Steel City before, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he was there a couple of years ago and uh, I, I didn't have the chance to uh, see him. So it's with great regret and heart wrenching sadness for us and millions of fans around the world to announce that our client, David Prowse, has passed away at the age of 85. The management firm said on Twitter, uh, may the force be with him always, says former agent Thomas Bowington. Bowington. Uh, though famous for playing many monsters for myself and all who knew Dave and worked with him, he was a hero in our lives. And they talk about uh, he wore the black suit and helmet to play Vader, but it was uh, James Earl Jones who did the voice. He said his West Country English accent was thought to be unsuitable for the part. Well, he didn't sound as very menacing. He didn't sound very... He seems like he actually would have been a pretty nice guy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and they talk about all the things he's done. He actually has done a lot of things. Mm -hmm. He was a bodybuilder. Uh, he had a passion for bodybuilding and was crowned the British weightlifting champion several times in the 60s. He became lifelong friends with Arnold Schwarzenegger in his weightlifting years. Uh, yeah, that's why they they hired him because he had the physique mm -hmm. uh, to wear the suit and the guy that they have um, and I forget his name off the top of my head the the new Vader in Rogue One the same kind of physique he's a bodybuilder mm -hmm. and that's what they they go for but uh, you know of course we've got people uh, his friends and he had many of them eulogizing him um, you know here's the original announcement yeah and here's where it gets tricky we'll we'll go back to Mark Hamill's tweet. But uh, Mark probably spent more time with him right. than anybody. It's so sad to hear David Prowse has passed. He was a kind man and much more than Darth Vader. Actor, husband, father, member of the Order of the British Empire, three times British weightlifting champion, and safety icon, the Green Cross Code Man. He loved his fans as much as they loved him. R.I.P. We're going to go back to Mark Hamill's because that's where things get nasty, Yeah, unfortunately. Anthony Daniels, more sad news. Dave is gone. I don't think 3PO ever faced Vader's mighty presence on set other than as a bag of bits on Chewie's shoulders in the carbon freezer. But Dave's iconic figure dominated the finished film and 77 has done so ever since and will continue to do so. Stanley Kubrick. Oh, I forgot he was in Clockwork Orange. Uh, I worked in a Clockwork Orange with Stanley Kubrick, and since Stanley was such a prestigious director, this opened up all sorts of doors for me. David Prowse, um, RIP. Yeah, I forgot he was even in. Uh, Clockwork Orange. Um, greetings to Leia. Yeah, I saw that. 
Uh, of course, we lost Chewbacca too. Mm-hmm. You know, rest in peace, David Prowse. Uh, anyway, lots of Edgar Wright director. You know, talking about now. Here's where it gets nasty, and I, I'm I'm not happy about. Not people weren't happy with this. I, I had to comment too. So, Mark Hamill puts out a very nice tweet. Mm-hmm. Right, because um, he knew him. You he know? knew him. He probably, again, probably spent more face time with him than than any of the original trilogy. Obviously, uh, and we have this shitty comment. It's a pity that later in life he lost his way politically. Right, and what did that have to do with anything? What does it have to do with nothing? Anything? Why does everything on Twitter have to be about politics? No one. I, I don't care what his politics were. That's not, that's between him and his politics and his ideas. That's his his issues. I just, it's not my business. But you know, this is ridiculous that the guy passes away, and that's what the person goes to. Because this is Twitter. This is what we've been telling you oh, guys. He's, he's, well, the, he, I think it's, is it a he or she? I don't know. Uh, is a co-founder of a Doctor Who fandom in Australia. Why would you say something like that about David Preston's? Like, I don't care if it's my my worst enemy. Somebody dies. You know, the, the day they died is not the day you uh, take them to task for things they've done in their lives. And we've seen it. Like, a lot of times when celebrities pass and maybe they weren't. Uh, you know, kosher compared to modern day thought, whatever. They they take that opportunity. The media does it too. Mm-hmm. They take the opportunity to take a dump all over them. Well, this is Dallas Jones. What I'm, I'm just going to say this. What would you, what, how would you feel if after everything you've done with the co-founder of Doctor Who fandom and all that crap, and at the end of the day when something happens to you and people are like, well, it's a pity they didn't agree with me politically. And that's the comment they make about you. This is this It was is, a really shitty thing to say. It is a shitty thing to say. Um... Yeah, and people, people are backing, well, you're in here. People are backing you up. Uh, politics has no place in this. Uh, for fuck's sake, a man just died. What's wrong with you people? Yep. It's Twitter. Uh, it's Twitter. Uh, Geeky Sparkles, who's that? She said, I know, right? You can read it in Geeky like, Sparkles. I know, voice. right? I was going to say the same thing. It's politics. is his business. He did his job, and to people like me, he mattered. As do all the original trilogy actors, they do or did. I disagree with people all the time, but I know that as an adult, you still care and you can still care and disagree. R.I.P. People care. Here comes Yellow Flash. I love. I love this. This is great. Oh look, it's Disney <laughs> Magic. Go fuck yourself. Pretty much. Um. Yeah. So of course people are. Who is this? Shut the f up. Why did I censor myself then? Uh, you need some time alone to think about what you yeah. just said. Seriously, too much time alone may have been the problem here. Nobody loses their way politically. They just have different views. Yeah, this is it. I'm so effing tired of this. It's, it's either you have your same opinion as me or you, you lost your way politically. People disagree with me all the time. And that's okay. You're allowed to disagree with me politically. Um, I, I, people change their mind. They change the way they are. This is dumb. Their politics and the way they view things has nothing to do with it. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Of course, you know, we got to have you know that one person that brings Trump up uh, during British actors... Wait, someone uh, said Trump? Yeah. I beg to differ. All of Trump's base have lost their way politically. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. Uh, what does that have to do? Right, because you know what? It's really shitty to to, to uh, back somebody who, you know, was really good friends with, like, the Ku Klux Klan leader and stuff like that. Oh, wait. Yeah, <sighs> God. Not even one day could pass before you had to open your mouth. Are exactly. you serious? I hope he rests in peace. I'm not here to argue. Just curious. What did he believe I don't in? really want to know because it's not my oh, business. Oh, he was pro-Brexit. Okay. I was going to say, what So the- what? So what? How dreadfully atrocious the man has passed. Regardless of his political stance, he had family, friends, and fans that loved and cared deeply for him. Bringing such frivolous nonsense exactly. up at this moment is absolutely unwarranted. Yes. Good. Yes, April. Curry. Yes. God, this is a really bad... Yeah, I agree with that. Like I said, even if someone is my worst enemy, I am not going to uh, take a dump on them on the day of their passing because there are friends and family. And it's just right. not... It's not a, a good look. Twitter. No, you should understand that. Say and do. Um, you know, if you're happy someone died, then there might be something seriously wrong with you. Uh, as a piece of kind advice, seek mental counsel. Yeah, this I recognize is, a lot of these names. Yeah, they? I do actually. Uh, you lost your way in something that matters more than politics, common decency. Amen. It's a pity you lost your soul somewhere along the way. May the force be with you, Mr. Right. Krause. You don't have to agree with him politically. You can be completely against him politically. But the fact of the matter is, he means a lot to a lot of people for characters he played that, that you know, really influential to people. And it's sad that he passed away. Politics did not need to be brought up right now. I don't care if it's flipping Twitter. You didn't have to go there. It was not necessary. 
And I hope you learned a lesson that this is a shitty thing to do. But then again, when you're you know, thinking, Doctor, who's the greatest thing ever as of late? Then, you know, I have no words for you. Yeah, this is this is just sad. I mean, I'm going to look at the situation with um, with uh, Pedro Pascal and Gina Carano. You know, I think that's actually a, a good way uh, to, to interface with one another that they agree to disagree about right. certain things. The show must go on. Uh, they back each other up. Uh, they don't seem like they're spending, well, I mean... There's probably both of them are spending way too much time on Twitter. But, uh, you know, you can get along with people and respect what they've done, even if you don't respect all their choices. You know, um, I, I feel bad for people that spend all day just looking Look forward. at Twitter. Yeah, However, I do like conference. I do like Mark Hamill's write-up. Believe in yourself, work hard, never give up, anything's possible. 100% agree. Or kick back, relax, name low. You'll never be disappointed. That is true. I ignore all DMs. Don't blame me, dude. Don't blame me. That's true. I just, I, I mean, I wish I could say I can't believe that somebody would use his passing to make a political point, but this is Twitter we're I talking can't, about. I can't, I totally believe it. I have, I'm not surprised at all. I was surprised more people didn't do it. I'm sure if you look in the comments, more people did do it. Yeah. Yeah, just don't. It's just like, don't. yeah, it, it's, it's you know, it. read the room. Stop it. Read the room. Darth Vader, Darth Vader will be missed uh, more than your tweets will be missed so the people will remember who david prowse is a, you know a week from now yeah right i'm just saying uh so very sad day uh very sad day we are losing so many i mean we, from the original trilogy it's it's you know pretty sad carrie mm -hmm. fisher and peter mayhew and kenny baker mm -hmm. and um anyway it uh, is sad it's just it's, it's, it's just, every time we turn around it's just like you know and, and it's not just star wars it's like everything else like yeah. you know we kept losing you know musicians that were really important alex trebek we lost yeah that's alex trebek. it's just ago, like yeah. every you you grow up and everything that mattered to you eventually um you know it, it this this kind of happens and it's sad but then somebody pointed out in the comments i'm sorry i don't remember off the top of my head because i have my my twitter pulled up but they can't, not in here into mine, something oh. I said. And they said that, you know, but the good news is you can, you know, pass it down to future generations and then they can remember too, which is a very valid point. Um, it's just, it's just sad. I mean, the older you get, the more you, you, you lose, the more you gain, but you lose a lot too. Yeah, but he will be remembered forever. The mm -hmm. original trilogy, regardless of how you feel about Star Wars now, the original trilogy will live forever. And everybody keeps going back to the original trilogy and there's a reason. There so. is a reason for that. So we're going to wrap this one yep. up. Okay, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Hopefully the, the other news is better. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.